It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks again for joining us. Our guest is Fran Pavley. Fran is a member of the California State Senate. Thank you again for joining us. Many years ago, you were a member of the Agora Hill City Council, its first mayor. First mayor. And so I want to talk to you about the philosophy of devolving power from Sacramento to local governments. Governor Brown is a big proponent of that. What's your view philosophically of the mm -hmm. devolution of power? Actually, philosophically, I'm right on board with that. Okay. Not only... Uh, reduced input from Sacramento um, in deciding what's best for local school districts, cities and counties and local government. But maybe one of the unintended consequences of the passage of Prop 13 is money got shifted to Sacramento, go pass out locally and then the strings and the programs attached. So this gets away from the one size fits all and lets local governments decide how to best use the money to fit the programs they need for their particular students or populations. Now, now what local government officials are saying is, well, theoretically it sounds great. We're going to have the power to avoid this one-size-fits-all mm -hmm. programmatic policy. But what they're afraid of is that the power will devolve, but the funding won't. So how do you balance those two concerns? Well, I do understand that. And so what Governor Brown is proposing in his particular budget is that with the voters' approval in June and the passage of a ballot measure which would just extend already existing taxes and maintain that tax level, a great percentage of those taxes would be used to be permanently shift to local governments to finance those programs. Such as uh, incarcerating low-level prisoners, some psychiatric hospitals, child welfare. I mean, it's a long list. Yeah, foster care, things that uh, vary from county to county. And Let me ask you, though, about that proposition you just mentioned. Governor Brown is looking to close the $25 billion gap in the budget with $12 billion of cuts and $12 billion would come in through the extension of tax increases from a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Clearly, as you said, you're a proponent of that, but you need Republicans to vote to just get that on the ballot. Are you going to be able to find Republican colleagues to vote for that? You know, it really surprises me. Uh, we're looking at a budget that most people, I think, in concept support. When mm. I talk to people about the size of this budget, should it be uh, both some cuts and some revenue? Absolutely. So here's a bold step and half the budget will be solved with cuts and other solutions. No borrowing, no gimmicks. This is different than the past. We're looking at a real budget. And let's give the voters a choice. This was one of uh, Governor Brown's mm -hmm. campaign promises on whether to extend existing taxes. These aren't new taxes, right. existing taxes. And that would protect our schools from additional cuts. Because I don't think anyone wants to see $25 billion worth of It'd cuts. Be a challenge. But Huge. how would you respond to those that would say two or three years back the voters were presented with these taxes and they were rejected? That was a different time. I think we're faced with real problems. We're, we're really direct with the voters and they're going to have to make a choice on the level of services that they think government should pr provide. When I talk to most people, they sort of want it both ways. Yes. Less taxes and don't cut whatever service yeah. they care about. Who wants to pay more in college tuition? I mean, if you look at polling, uh, Californian voters will say, yes, I want a budget of all cuts, all spending cuts, but don't cut education or health care or prisons or... And let me tell you, education is 50% right. of the state budget. At least, at least. And then a lot of things are mandates by the federal government, right. and then most people don't want to let the bad guys out of prison. That's $50,000 a, a year. So where do we go? Right. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. She is Fran Pavley, a member of the California State Senate. I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN.